Eight weeks in Biggie's house. Yes, boss. Double H O H. Now only you get vibes for the house. Mm. Hype man. You know, Mr. Dramatic, ah, Mr. Ah. Lover Lover. Ah, ah. Your love went from level one to level two. You know, let us say to level one. Up and down, I've been. Eh? Up and down, left and right. Up and down, left and right. Your yeah. emotions mm. were flying everywhere and everything and all of that. I wasn't flying. Yeah, okay, I think so. Probably I've been here. People would have seen that, but yeah. It was just fun for me though. It was, it was fun actually for you. interesting and interesting. trying to find myself, you know. And you found now. yourself. Yeah, somewhat. And you yes. stayed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why are you laughing? No, it's not... <laughs> <laughs> You're the hype man though. I know noms now. Ah. I know, I know I saw you. I'll try to give you the vibes. Hey, 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 hey. Chill. So your your time in Biggie's house, yeah. eight weeks, did you see that coming, you know, from the first day you stepped into Biggie's house? We spent eight weeks in mm-hmm. Biggie's house. So just mm-hmm. tell us a little bit about your experience. Okay, so um the first day was really um confusing because when I entered, I'm like, where's my roomie or where are the people like I actually Yay. knew? So it was really like, oh, these are new faces, what's happening? And we're 12. I'm like, why are we 12? What's happening? Where's everybody? Is it 12? Is it 20 something? Like also it was really confusing and the house was really big, you know, bedroom space, six beds, six beds here. It was just like, okay, let's see what's happening. Maybe by tomorrow we'll see everybody and whatnot. I thought the garden was another extra room. Mm. I was like, oh, okay, next day, they see anybody. They're just moving on vibes until like, it was time for the HOH games and boom. So everybody saw my roomie, hugged. It was just really like nice. The experience was, was quite dope mm. and tense. Like it was very, very tense. Intense actually, not mm. tense. Intense was, oh my God, intense. Like saying it or watching it from outside is actually different from being in the past because actually like it's very oh my god mm. but it was very enjoyable for me but you survived it all yeah without like, your roomie on your level man that was hard though but <laughs> for eight weeks i would thank god and that my roomie p man i'm actually still sad till today because I, see yeah i was man. not even ask about it but thank god you just brought it up mm-hmm. at the beginning of our conversation you know because looking at the fact that you felt so bad that you were the HOH for that week. Yeah. And they put up your room. Mm-hmm. They do back to you. Like, so basically, so yeah, with that thing, uh, <laughs> to like <laughs> talk about it. First of all, when I went to the diary room, I thought it was just five people. Then, Biggie said seven. I'm like, okay. My list, my previous list was very strong, like the strong guys. But the house, we had this stuff that we had to like put people's name and people were just putting my room's name, putting the, the people was that they felt. Purpose? I don't know, like, I really don't know. Did because they feel like they need to get back to you or something? I really don't know. Nobody ever told me about Anything. my roommate or spoke yeah. bad about him to me in the house. So it was just the voting process because we felt like if we had the power to actually Take wipe away else. people, yeah. like, so I was even in a tight spot because I was told to either pick from level one or level two. Level one, I've been with these people for 14, wait, how many weeks? Two weeks, right? Yeah, for or two, two weeks. Yeah. Or more than I think we merged. No, we went upstairs and was it the second yeah, week? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, second week. Yeah. So it's now so you guys merged like with fourth of it. And yeah. Yeah, so but it was quite a long time I'd spent with my level one housemates and Omo. I'd already like had this um, emotional attachment to all of them. Now putting them up felt like work to me because I wouldn't want to be the person that puts them up and they leave. I don't know. I just had this emotional thought to how I like picked. I was really game, game, game mm. kind of piece. So yeah, that was it. Okay, so let's just talk about your first week in the house. You know, we saw that, you know, Flirty connection. Vibe. <laughs> oh, which one, which we saw the connection between yourself and Fina. Oh, okay, and was there a connection later... though? Okay. Mm. So the thing between you and Fina, you okay. were born. <laughs> and uh, you know, later your fellow housemates in level one were not picking it on As in, I didn't understand <laughs> it. <laughs> I'm like, what is wrong with yeah, you people? And you're like, I don't want to hear anything again about this. I don't want to hear anything again. If anybody should mention this again beside me, what? Like you yeah, were ranting. Yeah, it was, it was too, and apparently, yeah, <laughs> for me, when I sleep and I wake up, I just, I don't know what happens to me. I'm just like yeah. really um, trying to balance my mood. Mm. So that they, they, they continued for like one week straight talking about this Fina and mm. Elswag case. Saying hello, Finn. This one, so I think was. <laughs> oh, oh my god. It thing was really annoying to me because. Oh my god. Man, it now like spoils my chances with Chomzy. Yeah, basically. because the, the gist went like. Yeah, like it was. I, I think there was, was a kiss. 
Yeah, yeah. And it was from that case, you know, that the mm-hmm. teasing came in. From the teasing, you were know, ranting about it. You didn't like the fact that it was hurting your feelings and all of that. Mm-hmm. And then you also eyes on the young lady. I was doing <laughs> Shamsi, uh, I like you. Yeah, so basically, yeah, that was it. Basically, I was... Uh, so the thing with that whole kiss saga was um, a previous night before, that was when um, I think Chomzi had the altercation with doing because of me thinking that doing called her name and I was like, ah, where's this young was coming from? Mm-hmm. I just didn't understand it. Then getting inside, because Chomzi always used to yell me that, okay, I calm her down, I won't know when mm-hmm. she's angry. Me trying to like talk to her, mama did not even allow me to You actually come a lot of ladies in the house. Like, okay, so I've seen Mm-hmm. You come, okay, Chomzi, I start from Chomzi, Diana. Yeah, Diana was And a then friend. before you left the house, Fina. What did I do? Yeah, you before were coming out down from the Saturday party when she was talking about Groovy. So we oh, yeah, yeah, that, because, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have, like you seen, have, you seen, have you seen Fina High? Like? Hi, like have you seen Fina no, 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 no. Oh my god, when she drinks, she's like a baby. So then I was just I'm like, ah, is this not two of you that I always like together? I was And was then in between she still gave you your own. Man. She you know she blasted you by saying that no if not because of Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, before entering the HOA room, I'm not like, which kind of be this? Why she won the uh, she said oh um I should have what did she say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She said something, I'm she like said something. She's I gave it dead back to you, right? yeah, but I was like dead die, my boy, because I know say if we want the increase on I do even want to have that like, conversation. If the beef to be saying you seven no day, yeah. if they say don't put your hand or something like that, like yeah, true. she gave me back to you. Yeah, <laughs> true. But on a scale of one to ten, talking about finance kids, you know, how would you rate it? Oof, man, I don't know. I can't remember though. Okay. Then. So there was a very interesting conversation between yourself and a few housemates about the first thing you would do when I come out. When you get out of the house. Yes, please. Do you remember that conversation? And norms are knocks. Like I, I, I just say my mind though. Hey, hey, hey. Huh. You said it with your foot chest in the house and you say it again. Like, like yo guys, no cap. You know the vibes. Saying it the way it is. Mm-hmm. I don't care mm-hmm. what you guys think. Mm-hmm. It's just me. Eat the hell old. I was right, baby. You know the vibes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so basically, it was just more of like yeah. a very long. I think it's 57 days we last there for. Mm. And I'm like, oh my God, I had not done anything. Mm. It was really, <sighs> my body was full. Hmm. My body is still full, so. Blue balls, was that one? That Shit. blue balls stuff. No, 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 <laughs> actually, I actually really think that. It's not the same, I'm not going to say it's the same, but yeah. that pain is, you can't define it to a girl. She will not understand mm. the definition of blue balls, but I feel like some, some of the pain that I receive when we have blue balls is, the same, almost the same, because it's really painful. It's actually really painful. Mm. So, as a dancer and artist, so can you tell us what the Big Brother Ninja platform, you know, will do to your career now that you're out, you know, of the house? Okay, so basically, it will uplift my career because, like, literally, it has already been uplifting my career. I think <laughs> we're still on that road. I'm still on that process. Yeah. I want to dive into a lot of businesses, my mom's business too, and the entertainment industry as mm. a whole. So, you know, praying and I will put in the work to actually get to that. So I remember one conversation you had with some of your housemates in the house mm. where, you, where you said uh, you're thinking about your journey, you know, how some of your friends before I got to the house, and they encouraged you to post your videos on YouTube. Yeah, you had the dancer. Yeah. You remember that conversation? Yes, I do. You remember? Yeah, yeah. So putting the work now that you have of the house. Yeah. Put it in because the platform is huge. It is very huge. That's, the, that's from, a very blessed platform. All over platform. Africa, even outside Nigeria, after, outside Africa mm-hmm. itself. So you, you have a platform. Too. Wide platform, yeah. Push yourself and all. So while yourself doing hand chums, you went to level three as house guest. <laughs> you know, in week seven, you guys seem to like slightly have like different opinions about Shex and Bella's relationship to mm-hmm. the point that you even suggested it wasn't genuine. Yeah, because and that's not last outside the show. Yeah. So why did you guys change your tones when you were allowed back to level one? I don't even know what it was. So basically, being in the house is different from being outside. So there were some stuffs they would fight, and some particular stuffs, and those fights were like intense when I used to see them. I'm like, okay. But then again, the next minute, Shex and Bella together. So I knew that there was love, but it was confusing love. Um, they came upstairs and they yanked me that Ebuka said this. So that was when I now started saying, ah, yeah. so these things are not, is it, does that mean that this thing was not real? That was literally my 
what they call it, my yeah. vibe on that. Yeah. And before that, though, I always felt like the whole house was like against them. There was the fire and um, the food pee, like everybody yeah. around. So I'm just, I'm just looking at them, like, what's really happening? Like, so the hits, first of all, was mostly on Adekunle. Then they now moved to, I'm not like, God. Then I'll be sitting down. Okay, so there was um, a time um, Ibuka also came to our house. I really felt hot. Maybe that's why maybe most of my stuff were based on what I said in the house. So he comes and he's like, um, Bella and Shex, why would you say the whole house hates you? I later had that conversation with Shex in the locker room. I don't know if that was for you too. I'm like, bro, what happened? Like, why did you actually say this? Because he now like said that um, it wasn't that he was generalizing it. He, he had actually seen some things. He shakes. I don't know how he sees things. So, me, so I'm not in his eyes and I'm not mm -hmm. in his body. So yeah, that was basically it. So, so you're very vocal about some housemates being dirty. Hmm. As you and a few others took it upon yourselves to keep the house clean. Yeah. So if you could name your top five lazy housemates, who would you put on that list? Top five. <laughs> I actually made them work, so I didn't see laziness in them, but laziness, oh my god. Doing Shakes, Bella. Then I can't remember. Oh, okay, maybe Chi Chi. I never really see, see her doing much mm. um housework or stuff in the house like that. Alright, so um so I noticed that you would always warm up to female housemates when they're in their downtime, like we saw you with uh, Diana when you were coming out down when she had the fight with Rachel. We saw what you, you know how you also you know calmed the uh, Fina down. Mm -hmm. Most of the time you were in the house, both level one and level two. You always talk about your mother. Yeah. What is that special thing or that special chord? You know that you would always say, "Mama, I have you in my heart. Though I'm here to fight for 100 million, you know, but I, I still got you." Yeah. What's that thing? So basically, my mom is like my fighter. She sent me to school after um, the time I had to repeat GS3 and whatnot. So at that point, she had all the school fees to be paying for me. It was like really struggle. She had just Ankara business and that was what she was using to like send me to school. At some point, didn't have like buy again after I finished university. So the only thing I thought about or I always think about is how do I repay this woman? Like she has spent a lot on me. You know, life has been hard on both of us at some point. It's not that we're broke or broke, yeah. but like, you know how life tends Things to be and be. stuff. So I resonated more with how we, like ladies will feel more in the mm -hmm. house. Like I never saw any guy having like downtime or I would have literally talked to one or two. Maybe sometimes maybe I didn't need to calm down if yeah. you really watched, but I was mostly, they were crying and you know, some stuff. Yeah. Women go through a lot, a lot, I would not lie. And I know my mom, I've known a lot of stuff that she has gone through. And, you know, it gets me so emotional. I'm, I'm very emotional. That's what I found out. Yeah. Like, I am. Okay, so emotional. your relationship with Chomzi, now that he gets out of the house, what should people, viewers, expect? Expect what they see. <laughs> like, that's, that's just it. Nothing to... They should expect what they see, basically. All right, so, Elo Swag. Yes, boss. Elo Swag. Yes, boss. Elo Swag. Yes, yes. So, who do you think will win people that Nigeria level up season? So, before I left the house, I had a conversation with, I think, Chonzi. She slept off. And also, um Daniela. Mm. My top two were Fina and Bram, because I had noticed some one or twos. Mm -hmm. Then... Naturally, I was always rooting for Hermes. There was a time that I was asked in the garden and I was like, nah, Hermes is going to win it. So mm. those are my top three. Fina, Brian, Chichi is now on the list. Yeah, so it's, it's so it's so confusing. <laughs> I already knew before leaving yeah, the house Lord. that Rachel and Cheesy were not. I'm like, nah. You already knew that in the yeah, house. I was How like, did you know? How did you find out? So there were stuff, they were so like, I don't know, with Rachel, yeah. Stuff like bathroom, she'll be fighting me over bathroom, yeah. asking me if I'm staying in the bathroom intentionally. Yeah. Like she was always trying to pick on that bathroom yeah. to try yeah. and fight me. Or I'm like, yeah. please don't try this thing with me. And mm. she, she keeps quiet most of the time when I react to it, maybe to not seem suspicious and mm. whatnot. Which is, we just move into the level and I felt like this guy didn't just like me. Like I don't even know what mm. it was. But like, let me just even give him a chance. Later, later. When doing and um, Cheesy now became like friendly, he was just calm. Like from the person I saw when we entered, yeah. always shouting. I'm like, so you can't nah, this is, nah, nah, this is, no, this is fake. <laughs> like I'm like, and also a hint was, um, Deji's own P and um, Modela, but Modela, I didn't know Modela. I, yeah. I figured out Deji's own when I was yeah. even in the toilet. I was like, 
nah man, DG is not real. Like, because I remember Hemis was always complaining to me that he wanted to move to level two first. Yeah. So when did Deji get this? It just came like, yeah. I'm like, no. And he was saying that we well, yeah, so it was always MS and doing. Doing, yeah, doing, and doing, doing too. She she wanted to go. Too. Yeah, I just remember that too. So apparently, yeah. Um, Deji started bringing up this the houses that is there's mm-hmm. played this. But I now remember that level two is the ones that like when they finish from the garden, everywhere is dirty. We always have to clean. MS is always cleaning the house up. I'm like, yo, nah, this thing it can't be real. I just you know, figured like, it out. Yeah, like it was just. <laughs> All right then, awesome, awesome. All right, guys, so we've come to the end of this episode with Elo Swag. You know the vibes. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. My name is Tosina Jibari, and this is Unfiltered with Olori Supergirl. Thank you guys for sticking with us and watching this episode. Please do not forget to follow us on all our social media platforms. Hello Swag, Vibes Nation Master. Yes, what do you sir. have to say to your fans? Shout out to y'all. It's your boy also. Like, you know the vibes. I really love you guys. Thanks for supporting me in the house. I'm actually out now, but hmm, let's see where we go from here. All right, Baby. guys. So let's see where we go from here. So guys, don't forget to follow Hello Swag on all social media platforms and also follow Olo Supergirl on all platforms. Remember guys to subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is Olori Supergirl TV. And we're bringing you exclusive interview year on or future with Olori Supergirl on this channel. From me and Elo Swag, the Vibes Master. Che. You know che. the vibes. Hey. <laughs> we're saying bye for now. I will see you guys next time. It's bye Thank from me you. and Elo Swag. Bye. Au